All right, shalom, uh, all praise is to um, uh, Yao. In today's video, I'm gonna go a little bit over this book called um, uh, Lost Tribes in a Promised Land by Ronald Sanders. Now this book over here is among one of the many books that the camps are using as a source to try to insinuate this lie that Hispanics and Native American Indians are Israel or are part of the lost 12 tribes of the nation of Israel or the Northern Kingdom based upon 2nd Ezra's 13th chapter because you'll find a lot of these groups who have, who have this book in their possessions and one of the main pages they like to read is in regards of the Indians supposedly being um, uh, Israel. But there are also other pages that they're not going to read to their following. And they purposely do that because they would totally crush and decimate the very premises of their falsehood in regards to Second Ezra, the 13th chapter. We second Ezra and as well as the Apocrypha is not part of the Torah or the Dioda. It's not part of the Torah or the testimony falsely called the Tanakh. And we also check out Second Ezra in general. Second Ezra was written way after the death of Ezra. So Ezra never wrote that piece of literature. But nonetheless, being a fact that they love use this material I'm going to go to a couple pages that they like to hide from the general public in regards to the descriptions of the people in the Americas because based upon second Ezra they like to say that the Hispanics and Native Americans came over here in the new world and nobody was dwelling on inhabiting this continent, which is a goddamn lie. Because number one, you're gonna find out that the, uh, that the first settlers and the first inhabitants of the Americas, North Central, South America, and the Caribbean Isles, they were all black. Even when you check out certain artifacts, like you go down to Mexico, and you check out a lot of um, uh, old Mac heads and artifacts, you can check out the, um, the phenol structure, of their faces, you clearly see that they have thick lips, they have big noses, and some of them also got braids. You can clearly see that they're blacks and that they're Negroes. And their civilizations predated the arrivals of Hispanics and Native American Indians, which came from different places of Europe, Mongolia, and Siberia. Even when you go down in Mexico, over there at the bottom park mural. You want to check out the different paintings of the Mayans, you can clearly see that they're black. You can clearly see the locks or the dreadlocks in their hair. You can also check out the Mochica civilizations. I mean, we can go on and on. We can go on and on and show you many different among statues in pre-Columbus showing to you that you have black people Negroes who were dwelling and living all throughout this joint way before the arrival of Hispanics and Native Americans but they only make you think that nobody was inhabiting all throughout this region so I'm going to go over here and I guess I'm probably going on page 7 to show the description Negroes in the Americas. Let's see. All right. And it says that the Catalan inscriptions on Trapobana describe it as the island of the Indies. And it goes on to say that the, its inhabitants are what? Are people different from any other. And some of the mountains of this island 
they are men of great stature. That is some 16 feet tall, like giants, who were very what? Black, without rational faculties. They eat white strangers whenever they can. Oddly enough, this description, even including the exaggerated height of the inhabitants, is not unlike accounts brought back by explorers of the Sutton Sea some 150 years later, especially by those who have been along the southeastern coastline of where of South America. Are we getting here in some glimpse of the new world However, vague and tentative. Clearly, the Catalan inscriptions show you that you have black people who were dwelling in the Americas prior to Christopher Columbus's arrival. I also have another book. I forgot the title of that book. I'm gonna probably bring it out in another video. We have one of the European explorers you pretty much name all the different black tribes that were living in different parts of the Americas. But, as you can see, none of these different groups will bring this information out to their followings. They want to keep you in a delusion state to follow after this bullshit ass lies about the 12 tribe chart and about Hispanics and natives being Israel. You want to have them steal our birthright and our culture, knowing damn well that they're not Israelites and they're not our people. But they're not going to read page seven to any of their followings. They're not going to read page seven to their followers. They're just going to go to the other part where it speaks about Indians supposedly being Israel. You see that? Uh, let's see. I'm going to go to another page. Um, matter of fact, on, let me see. I'm going to go to page 49. Because now you got, a, um, you got some Hispanics now. Here it is that they learn this truth from the camps, from all these different Negroes. And now they don't turn around by calling us Canaanites and Hamites and they're perpetrating and teaching this lie that they're the children of Israel. And many of them are also reading out of these different materials. Lost Tribes and Promised Lands, um, what else? Uh, the, uh, the History of the American Indians by James and Dean. You also got another one called Stars of the West. You got, also got another one called View of the Hebrews. There's another one that was written by uh, Thomas Thorwood, which he was the one who started perpetrating that lie that the Indians were Israel. And his information also got debunked. It just goes to show that these cats are using misinformation, outdated information, but that's a whole other topic. But the point I'm trying to make is we got all these Hispanics and Native Americans who don't learn the 12 trap chart, the false 12 trap chart as well as this false notion that they are the people of the creator, and as well as the fake language of Lashon Kadash and all the different false breakdowns coming out of one West to only turn around and call the people who they say are Canaanites, who they say, who you know, the people who they are saying are not Israelites, or actually are in effect Hamites or Canaanites. It be, it's beyond me, but they're trying to say that all Israelites are Hispanics or Native Americans. But when you read page 49, it tells you what? Oh, yes, and please circumcise us too, so that we look like who? Like Jews, and bore our ears, imitate Arabians, and what? And chalk our faces. Put black chalk in their faces, like what? Like the Arabians and the Jews. Because the, the real Arabians and the real Arabs were also black. You see that? Till gold takes us for our own sons, as if this color alone could alter our shapes. And it were not needed that many things act in unison to make a good lie on all accounts. Suppose that the stain of the dye on the face 
could last for some time. Imagine that never a drop of water can make many mark on our skins, nor our clothes stick to the ink, which often clings to us out of the use of the cement. But tell me, can we also make our lips swell to hide its thickness? Can they also make their lips full and thick? Like who? Like the Jews. Because the Jews also had thick lips. The Jews were black and they had thick lips. Like black people do. You see that? Or transform our hair with curling thongs. Or plot up the foreheads with scars. Or walk bow legged or bend our ankles over the ground or trim our beards in a foreign cut. Artificial colors, dirty ones, body without altering. So when you read page 49, Lost Tribes and Promised Land, it tells you the description and the color of the Jews, that the Jews were black. This is something that the camps are not gonna read to their congregations. And you know damn well that the Hispanics you are running around with this lie that we are the Hamites and that Israel, they're not gonna bring this information out. Even their own sources cuts them to the shred. You see? I'm gonna go to another one. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna go to page 139. This is going to be a short video. All right, watch this. This is Lost Tribes and Promised Land again. By Ronald Sanders. And this is page 139. Uh... Watch this. And it says the Turks depicted as pagans who worshiped Jupiter and other Roman gods ran together for the battle all the dark-skinned people over whom they ruled. These include the inhabitants of an island on the right hand of the Indies called what? California. Hmm. Very close. Hold on a minute. All right. Very close to the region of terrestrial paradise, which was populated by who? By black women who had no man among them for their way of life was almost like of the Amazon. The women of California are great warriors who fly into battle on back. You're going to find out also, too, that California was named after a black woman, a black goddess by the name of Queen Calafia. You see, they also want to lie, you, lie to you in thinking that the so-called Mexicans or indigenous of California or the West Coast of the United States. And that's a goddamn lie. There were black people that were living all throughout California prior to the arrivals of the Hispanics of Mongolians or Eurasian origins. So California was inhabiting by black people. California belongs to the blacks who were dwelling there. Because they were the first inhabitants all throughout the region. But the camps will not bring this information out. They want to keep you into a delusion, into thinking that Hispanics and Native Americans or our people in all actuality, they are stealing our birthrights by allowing other people to come in and to claim our heritage and our nationality. None of these different groups are gonna bring this information out. I've never seen any. They wanna suppress this information and hide it from the general public or the general population. So with that, I'm going to sign out and I'm going to say Shalom.